always get A's. And I studied hard for this one, too. Well, I did study. Just not very much. I thought I was smart enough that I didn't need to really study. I mean, I must be smart. Look what I can do. my compass, we're headed north. Which should take us to the palace. The queen asked us to bring a few goodies from the Wonderland Bakery. Ooh, you mean like donuts? That's right. Donuts, maple bars, and of course, synonym rolls. <laughs> What's, What's so funny, funny about, about synonym, synonym rolls? rolls? I think you mean cinnamon rolls, don't you? Why would I call these cinnamon rolls when they are actually synonym rolls? Uh, synonym rolls are our favorite. <laughs> Flaky golden crust, a pinch of powdered sugar, and of course, a pair of synonyms inside each one. Yeah. <laughs> synonyms, of course, being words that mean the same thing. <laughs> right. Well, let's see. In this one, I got... Um, let me check it here. Here we go. <laughs> oh! Delicious and tasty. Two great synonyms if I ever ate them. I've got quiet and silent. What did you get, Alice? Um, let's see. Exciting and boring. Hey, my words aren't synonyms. They mean the opposite of each other. That's right. Those are antonyms. Boy, it's that new guy at the bakery. Well, he better check his recipe before he tries to bake any more synonym rolls. Oh, sick. Oh, the compass here. The compass. Oh, 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 puzzle if you're breathing down my neck. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. I'm terribly sorry. I, I'll just stand over here. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Your Majesty. We brought breakfast treats from the Wonderland Bakery. Mm, that sounds good, but not until I'm done with my puzzle. Please wait quietly until I'm finished. Now, third to last clue. Boy, those synonym rolls sure were tasty. Now you let a word meaning very good. I'll say they were excellent. Excellent! That's the word I needed. Thank you, Hare. Ah, second to last clue. A nine-letter word for something tasty and orange. Are there any jelly donuts in here? A couple are filled with marmalade. Marmalade? Oh, that's it! Good thinking, Hare. Rabbit, why did you know that? Last clue, an eight-letter word meaning puzzled. Why does the queen keep thanking me? I'm afraid I'm a little confused. Confused? That's the last word in my puzzle. Hair, you're brilliant. In fact, I had no idea you were so knowledgeable. Neither did I. Oh. 
Why, I must do something to honor your intelligence. Oh, Rabbit, uh, bring me the box of royal awards. Your Majesty, are you really going to give Mr. Hare an award? Please, Your Majesty, I don't really deserve it. Oh, nonsense. Someone as smart as you doesn't come around every day of the week, you know. Oh, she's right, Hare. You do only visit the palace on Tuesdays and Fridays. <laughs> let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, wow. Ah, the big cheese trophy. The top banana award. The goody two shoes ribbon. Ah, ah, here we go, here we go. The royal smarty pants medal. Hair, step forward. Sorry. <laughs> For intelligence, brains, knowing your synonyms, and all around good thinking, I hereby declare you a smarty pants. <laughs> <laughs> didn't earn this award by chance You proved to us all you're a smarty pants I can tell with a glance how much schooling you retain To be a smarty pants you got to use your brain You won't get a medal for staying in bed My award is just for people who are using their head Be smart, do your part, and you might be a smarty pants Nobody will complain if you're using your brain Don't be on the blink, just be ready to think You won't get a medal for staying in bed My award is just for people who are using their head Be smart, do your part, and you might be a smarty pants Be smart, do your part, to prove that you're a smarty pants A smarty pants And here I am at the cat food factory. And here I am sailing on my catamaran. And oh, here I am on the catnip farm. How many more vacation pictures do you have, cat? And how come if they're from your vacation, you're not in any of them? Oh, I'm in all the pictures. You just can't see me. Oh, vacation slides, my favorite. Don't mind if we watch the show, too? Sure. I'll start over at the beginning. If you're smart, you'll keep walking. Well, Hare's smart, and he has the Smarty Pants medal to prove it. You? A Smarty Pants? <laughs> That's a laugh. <laughs> Just a doggone minute, cat. We have one intelligent Hare here. Go ahead. Ask him something. Okay, okay. Here's a picture I took on my visit to the catnip farm. Tell me, what kind of a chicken is that? Well, since you asked... <laughs> It's a Rhode Island Red. Indeed, the Rhode Island Red is my favorite of all barnyard birds with their delicate reddish color, their stately beaks, and their intelligent expressions. They are truly the most dignified of all poultry. Wow, you really do know your chickens. Wow, what a lucky guess. It's no big deal. Chickens just happen to be a hobby of mine. In fact, I'm a lifetime member of the other chicken club. See, my membership card. Here, stop being shy. Face it, you are a genius. By your knowledge of chickens alone shows that you have more intelligence in your little finger than most people have in both hands. Gee, I never thought of it like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, maybe I did deserve the Smarty Pants medal. Yeah. <laughs> but I just have one question. What's that? Which little finger do you think has the intelligence, the left or the right? Hmm. I was Difficult never good with tell. digits. Mm -hmm. you, oh, have a question. Need advice? Hair will help you for a price. What in the world? Oh, I say, I say, I have... Intelligent answers from a hair brain. Hair, what are you doing?
I'm sorry, Rabbit, but if you want that question answered, you'll just have to wait your turn. Next, number 12. Number... You need to settle an argument for us. I say the tomato is a fruit. He says it's a vegetable. <laughs> of course it's a vegetable. You don't eat tomato pie or tomato jelly or tomato-filled fruit bars. Well, let's see what my big book of stuff you can eat has to say about this. No. Aha! The tomato is a fruit. Told you. Fine. But I still say tomato popsicles would taste terrible. Thanks for the smart answer, Hare. Wait a minute, wait a minute. All he did was look up the answer in this book. What's so smart about that? Well, for one thing, he was smart enough to know which book to use. Sharp as a tack, smart as a whip, that's me. I don't mean to brag, but like the sign says, I'm a real hare brain. I'm a real hare-brained, clever, witty on the ball. Not to toot my own horn, but I'm a know-it-all. The smartest of the smart, some call me brainiac. So ask me any question, there's no answer that I lack. He does not need to seem vain, but he has got the smart. Our friend is a real hare-brained, the sum total of his part. Wow, 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 wow. The epitome of wise When you're as smart as I am It's not easy to disguise I really do not mean to brag I know it's not polite In fact, I know so many things I'm really always right Oh, he does not need to seem vain But he has got the smart His wit, insight, and wisdom Are top of all the charts Wow, 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 wow Me, you all are too, too kind. Allow me, please, to repay you by using my key mind. La 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 Me, this uh, smarty pants medal has made you a little too big for your britches. <laughs> hey, he should be proud of himself. Face it, hair's so smart, I'll bet he can't think of one thing he doesn't know. Oh, well, if you put it that way, wait a minute. Obviously, if he doesn't know something, he can't think of it. That's what you think. As for me, I think not. <laughs> hey, Caterpillar, my card, my card, and my, uh, card. Martell, award-winning smarty pants, you name it, I know it. If you're ever a confused Caterpillar, you know who to call. After all, there's nothing I don't know. Are you sure you're not being conceited? Ah, oh, no thanks, I'd rather stand. No, I said conceited. It means you think you're better than anyone else. <laughs> well, I was the only one to receive the Queen's Smarty Pants medal. You know, Caterpillar, being named a Smarty Pants has really changed me. Uh, I can see that. And I think you'd better listen to this story. Once there was a bright green chameleon named Casey. Casey's friends admired her beautiful green color, but Casey wanted everyone to admire her. So one day she heard some frogs say, what a beautiful yellow butterfly. Casey decided she needed to be yellow as well. Then Casey heard the butterfly say, what a beautiful blue bird. So Casey decided to turn blue also. Then Casey heard the birds say, what a beautiful pink and orange fruit. So Casey added pink and orange to her appearance. Changing into so many colors made Casey very tired, but she felt it was worth it if it made everyone admire her. When Casey's friends saw her, she asked them, how do you like all my new colors? Her friends didn't want to hurt her feelings, but they told her, 
With all those other colors mixed in, we can't see the beautiful green you once were. Surprisingly, Casey's feelings weren't hurt. Deep down, she liked being green best too. So from then on, Casey decided to be just herself. I see. So the lesson is, don't try to be something you're not. Hmm. Of course, it has nothing to do with me. I am a smarty pants, and that's exactly how I'm acting. <laughs> How true that is. Oh, oh. I don't understand it. Hare never misses a tea party. Maybe he's lost. Well, that's never stopped him before. Maybe he's so busy answering questions, he doesn't have time for tea. Delivery for the Mad Hatter. Ugh. Hey, those are the books the hare was using to help him answer questions. Well, he's not using them anymore. Did he already go out of business? Oh, I told him he'd be better off setting up shop in a busy mall instead of out in the middle of the woods. Oh, I believe this note will explain. Oh, terrific. <laughs> oh, dear Hatter, that's me. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. The weather is nice here. Is the weather nice there? Yes. I was thinking it might rain, but then it didn't. I'm... Skip to that part. All righty. I am giving all my books to you. Who needs books when you're as smart as I am? Sincerely, the March Hare. Well, that doesn't sound very smart. To me, it sounds like he's being a bit conceited. Oh, come on. The Hare isn't stuck up. He's just uh, sure of himself. Let me read the rest. P.S. I won't be at the tea party today because I'm going to be on my very own radio show. <gasps> Hair's on the air! He's hit the big time. And just think, we knew him when he was like us. One of the little people. And now it's time for Ask Smarty Pants. Here's your host, the original Smarty Pants, the March Hare. He's the hare who's on the ball. Smarty Pants, Smarty Pants knows it all. Hi, everybody out there in Radio Land. I know we've got lots of questions, so let's go to the phones. Caller number one, ask Smarty Pants. What came first, the chicken or the egg? Good question. Without an egg, there can be no chicken. But without a chicken, there are no eggs. However, since eggs are for breakfast, and since breakfast comes first, the egg came first. <laughs> Caller number two, ask Smarty Pants. Hi, could you tell me, what's the difference between a duck? What's the difference between a duck? Simple, one of its legs is the same. <laughs> Caller number three, ask Smarty Pants. Yes, how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? I'm sorry, but all woodchuck questions must be submitted in writing. Time now for this commercial message. When we come back, I'll be answering the age-old question, is it colder in the mountains than it is in the winter? He's the hare who's on the ball. Smarty Pants, Smarty Pants knows it all. I think that I shall never see a queen as wonderful as me. Hey! Of course this is a poetry reading, not an ice cream social. Uh, we're not talking about ice cream. We're talking about Hare's radio show. Oh, right. It was really great. Uh, Did you happen to listen in? No. Now, all of you be quiet and pay attention. Now, where was I? My gorgeous face. My sense of style. I'm the best you've seen in quite a while. <laughs> The queen is reading her poems, and you should not interrupt. Thank you, Rabbit. I mean, the poor woman has enough trouble putting down a few simple verses. Uh, uh, Rabbit! If you insist on talking, you know she's bound to lose her place. Rabbit! Mm -hmm. Oh, don't worry, Your Majesty. I'll get them to be quiet. No, no, there was one question. We all know the question that he answered, that we, none of us knew the answer. I know. I don't know. <laughs> 
little consideration, please, for the Queen of Wonderland. You should all pay strict attention to the matter now at hand. A little consideration, please, for the program has begun. Now is not the time to chat. Chatting time is done. There's a time and place for everything. And now it's time to listen. Why, if you keep this talking up, who knows what you'll be missing. So a little consideration, please. You don't want to be rude. Let's be a proper audience while she's in a poetic mood. There's a time and place for everything, and now it's time to listen. But if you keep this talking up, who knows what you'll be missing? Show a little consideration, please, for the Queen of Wonderland. Thank you. Thank you, Rabbit. Oh, not at all, Your Majesty. <coughs> There once was a really red queen who never, no, never was me. Hey, never. everybody. Now what? I just saw the March Hare coming from the radio station. He's agreed to answer a few questions and sign autographs. Oh, oh, sign autographs. So wait, wait, questions. Wait. <laughs> you were worried he was acting conceited. Oh, I have some questions for him. I couldn't get through to him on the radio because so many other people were calling in. It's amazing how popular he's become. Oh, 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 how gross. I can't believe they would rather hear that silly hair answer questions than to listen to my beautiful poems. Well, Your Majesty, there's no accounting for taste. Yes. to be on the radio? Were you nervous? What happens if you get the hiccups while you're on the air? Can you get me one of these cool jackets? <laughs> hey, your majesty, did you catch the show? No, but I heard about it. It seems you've gotten quite a reputation for your intelligence. <laughs> and I owe it all to you. <laughs> Ever since you gave me that medal, I realized that I'm not only a smarty pants, I'm a real know-it-all. How true that is. In fact, your majesty, go ahead and ask me anything. Ask me why the sky is blue. Ask me why the grass is green. Ask me why carrots are orange. Oh, please, even I know that one. Well, okay. Why is the sky blue and why is the grass green? Uh, because, <laughs> you know, I'm glad you asked. Those are good questions. And if you give me a moment, I might be able to guess. Oh, guess? You mean you don't know? Well, I'm sure I read the answer somewhere. <laughs> How about a hint? That seems fair. Yeah. I'm surprised at you. A true smarty pants doesn't need hints. Well, just give me another chance. Does anyone else have any questions? I had a question, but I guess I can probably figure it out myself. Me too. Sorry, Hare. <laughs> if only you still had your books. No one wants to know anything? Don't feel bad you didn't know the answers. The Queen's questions were tough. Thanks, Alice. But there's no sense trying to make me feel better. I'm sorry, everyone. Here, Your Majesty. I guess I better return this Smarty Pants medal. Looks like I don't deserve it. How could I have been so conceited? Don't feel bad. You just got carried away. Besides, in my book, you're still the smartest hair around. Really? Sure. See? Under S for smart, at your picture. Well, it sure wasn't smart of me to think I didn't need all my books. That's the most intelligent thing you've said yet. In fact, Hare, I've got a question for you. Sorry, I am out of the question-answering business. I don't care. What I want to ask you is, do you want your smarty pants medal back? No way. I don't deserve it. I'm just a know-nothing. Oh, you're not a know-nothing. You're just not a know-everything. Listen to the rabbit. He knows these things. Okay. Well, if I'm not a know-nothing, then at least I'm a know-very-little. No way are you a know-very-little. You're at least a know-a-lot. Yes, and a know-a-lot still deserves a smarty pants medal. Right. After all, you're a hare with a good head on his shoulders. You know it. Wow. Sorry. Mr. Hare, Mr. Hare, you've helped everyone. 
You know, Dinah, I've been thinking about this test. I didn't get a good grade because I thought I knew it all. And no one knows everything. I may be smart, but I still need to study. Of course, I don't have to tell that to an intelligent cat like you. <laughs>